Roundheads and Cavaliers have gathered in the South Cheshire market town of Nantwich, all set for battle. This time, it's not a real fight, although real blood will be shed. This is Saturday, January the 27th, 1973, the year that the newly formed Sealed Knot came to town to re-enact the English Civil War Battle of Nantwich of 1644 at the invitation of the Nantwich Historical Society. Today on the Barony Park, the local television, radio and press are out in force to record the events of the day. They will look on as the Reenactment Society relives a crucial battle after a six-week siege of the parliamentarian town by the Royalist armies of King Charles I. In reality, the two opposing armies faced each other on January the 25th, but today's commemoration has been delayed by two days to a Saturday so that as many people as possible can watch. In the 17th century, the Nantwich people marked the lifting of the siege by wearing sprigs of holly in their clothing on what became known as Holly Holy Day. Over the years the practice ceased, but last year, 1972, Nantwich historian, 84-year-old Percy Corry, persuaded the townsfolk to commemorate their ancestors by holding a wreath-laying ceremony for the fallen heroes. Today, there will be a more graphic commemoration, but Mr. Corry hasn't lived to see it. He died a few weeks ago. The Sealed Knot is based in Nottingham, where King Charles raised his standard and the Civil War began. Members come from all over the country. One 80-year-old has arrived from Essex and is playing a priest, seen here blessing the troops before the battle. Then it's time for the battle to begin, and soon the troops are in action, working to a script by Nantwich man Andy Gillett, who is a royalist member of the Sealed Knot. Meanwhile, on an adjacent pitch, two rugby teams are engaged in a battle of a different sort. Much of the blood is of the theatrical kind, but this young lady is wounded in reality. She needs the attention of Red Cross member David Korn for a possibly broken nose. Elsewhere, the reenactment continues with further skirmishes. Then it's time for the troops to pack up and make their way home, with the siege lifted once again. Since 1973, the sealed knot has returned to Nantwich every year on the Saturday nearest to January the 25th, ensuring that the Nantwich people of today remember the residents of 1644 and the bleak midwinter they endured in the time when the king and the people were involved in a dispute about who ran the country. <laughs> 